Welcome back to the lab. It's, I think it's the first day of winter in New Zealand here and we've got a heater going in the background. Free power. I'll be turning that off shortly. Looks a little bit a um, little bit dark in this area. I'm looking like a rather terrible character from history. Uh, that's carbon fiber dust. Yep. I've been doing something for this but not specifically on this. And yeah, I've still got that on. And I've still got a, um, I can't do the quotations, a no work thing going on. But I've kind of figured out something I can do predominantly with the other hand, which is really good. There's a big clue here. See this, this thing here, I made this up. Uh, I don't know, like eight years ago, seven and a bit years ago when, when I built this second version of the car there um you notice there's pieces missing of it it's aluminium construction there's two spars that run inside here um it's not really the best design because i put a lap joint on here now this skin should have been joggled so that there was less of a step there or i should have done it with that join on the top side now, i didn't do it on the top side because it looks funny It'll stand out and it'll look awful. We've got DRS on this thing now, haven't we? See, you go down the straight and it's like that, we're breaking. Anyway, so this weighs about 6 kg, well, almost exactly 6 kgs with these mounts on and with these end plates and, and the bits and pieces. These end plates weigh next to nothing. I can't remember what they are. Um, 150 grams or something like that it's not a lot um, so we'll call that wing five and a half kgs that's probably pretty close without the end plates and without the mounting brackets so in my boredom because of because of this I've been shopping around on the internet and that's a project that I've been wanting to do for a very long time as a new wing for the back of this because that's pretty hefty it's crappy shape um, and I needed some extruded polystyrene foam. There's a few, uh, couple, a few places in New Zealand you can get that from, but nobody in Hamilton. And I didn't really want to import some from Auckland or wherever, because I might order it online and then it might turn up and it's not the right stuff. So my boredom, ferreting around on the internet, and I found there's a place in Hamilton that now stocks it in 25, 40 and 50 mil sheets. And I thought, Huh. Carbon fibre stuff is basically just pretty much paper mache. Super expensive paper mache, but paper mache nonetheless. And you can kind of do it, a lot of it, with one hand, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Or, I won't put that hand there, it gets in the way. Or one hand and... A couple of fingers you know and not not use these other ones to rest this hand as as i've been told i have to do so i've got some 50 mil i cut it and i laminated it together and i made a wire cutter a hot wire cutter and got wifey to hold the other end of that yeah we just held on to the hot wire uh with vice grips and stuff and uh, made a couple of templates and we cut out the basic shape of a wing you can see it in the background if you look really hard. It's it's over there. I might as well show you now. That is that is lying and it is now after five o'clock. So we, we don't have free electricity anymore. So I'll turn that bad boy off. Um, there we go. So am I gonna get sidetracked about the yeah, air? I will in a second. Here's our basic profile, cut out of foam, and then I put one layer of fiberglass over the top of it, and uh, we were at 1.3 kgs, I think. And so you can see I've put some reinforcing under here where the mounting points are going to go. Nice big area to spread the load out there. It's just one extra layer there at the moment. There probably will be a bit more. Then it had one layer of 
200 gram per square meter twill, carbon fiber twill, and then a reinforcement for the trailing edge, all the way up to here, because I mean, it's not gonna snap off out there, so that's enough, just to give it some more guts, and same thing on the leading edge there. That, yeah, that's, that seems to be dry in some places. Not there. So, that's us. And at the moment, tip it over and smash the remote. That weighs, as it stands there, it needs another layer of carbon fiber over the top after I've done the old sandy smoothie smoothie and feathered these edges here out. Some of that's not set and some of it is that's because the heat is too far away. It's not really a controlled environment. Um, at the moment that is sitting at 2070 grams. So, hang on, put the, uh, put the old remote away. Now this here, I will get distracted and talk about this. This is a, a special tape you can, can I do this one handed to show you? Probably not. You can put your bung finger in the tape and wrap it around the one next to it. It's got Velcro on it and then you can maybe do a little bit of stuff and things. So I've got permission to wear that 20% of the day and the rest of the day I have to be in the splint. This is why I'm starting to starting to get into trying to do things and if there's any pain or anything then I have to call it a day and stop. But uh, this is, it's just so light. Oh, I can't quite from there. But I can certainly um, finger and thumb it. That's one finger in my thumb. Man, the whole thing's in the air. So she's um, pretty light. It's, don't worry about this. I was just using some leftover resin and putting it on there. It sort of looks, looks the part, doesn't it? More or less, but not if you get back and you see all the faulty bits and bobs. So the... the thing with this one there's no spars in it and I probably won't put any spars in it and that's why I've doubled up on on this I put an extra layer so that's there's a layer of fiberglass there's a, three layers of carbon fiber along that leading edge and it's in a tube shape so that's effectively the spar there and that's why we've got some back here so we won't need to put any anything in the guts of this and that's how we've got it so like this is Frickin' strong as it is right now, so it's good. It um, gives me something to do because the boredom was getting ridiculous, sitting around doing nothing, not being able to use my hands. I'm someone who needs to be able to get in the garage and do things, even after the big crash and broken ribs and all that sort of stuff. I was still out here in the garage if I could for. Um, I think I was out here 20 minutes, half an hour at a time, and that was that was all my head would let me do. So you just got to keep moving, keep doing things. That's that's how it is. So um, and people will be going, if you can do that, you can do jobs and stuff. Well, nah, because um, I wouldn't recommend it. But you try and hold an angle grinder wearing that. It's uh, <laughs> No, and you can't swing a hammer, and you can't drive a screwdriver, and you there's all you can't swinging spanners and jamming hand down side engine bays and all that sort of crap. You just can't can't without risking bumping it, hurting it, screwing it up. Back to square one, longer recovery time. Whereas what I've got in front of me here, like I say, it's it's rich man. I'm not a rich man. It's uh, it's grown man's paper mache, and you can kind of just do it pretty much one-handed for the bulk of it, brushing on the resin and all that sort of stuff. Just use my left hand for the bulk of it and, and as good as gold. So GTR Festival is not this weekend, it's next weekend. And I'll said to the, uh, the physiotherapist, I reckon I'm sticking a glove on, taking the splint off, sticking the glove on and taping my bloody fingers together and sending it. And, and she was not all that enthusiastic about that. Um, but didn't say no. <laughs> so, so hopefully, hopefully GTR Festival next weekend. That's all. That's that's basically all that's happened. I'm 
there's another little project we'll do a different video on that but literally what are we, we're seven weeks in now i think from when i hurt my hand and that's that's pretty much all i've achieved is um is stuff all is is started making a wing oh there was one thing hang on back over here again before i got the no working at all order we were on light duties order i i made a start on getting this oil cooler in here there you go see so we got a 25 row oil cooler in the march now i may have already shown you that um, i'm not going to open the boot because everything will fall down but inside there i put a little bit more insulation on stuff and things there you go and a wifey had to give me a hand to put the intercooler back in because at that point i was told you're not allowed to do anything at all so she gave me a hand with that literally um a, a hand or two so other than that this thing is nothing has actually physically changed on the car it's sitting on dollies it has been for two months now i guess jeebus all for a silly little um hands in the way the ligament on the top there the little finger that's that's all it is it's um it's a bit ouchy takes a long time to heal three months so it happens all right thanks for watching cheers bye